Hey guys, Chad Trofkerbin here from the Incredible Tutorials YouTube channel. Jim Mills and I have teamed up with Smith Micro to bring you these brand new Anime Studio 10 tutorials. So I hope you're ready, because we're about to get started. In Anime Studio, you can do what is called random line width. And basically, with a set of points down, you can put this feature on, and the line width will be randomized between points just to kind of give it a more stylized effect. The thing was, with previous versions of Anime Studio, this could sometimes be a bit jarring because you could go from a really thin line to a really, really thick line and it would look just a little bit off. So with version 10, you can see I have some points selected here. If I go up to Draw, Random Line Width, or Command-D or Control-D if you're on Windows, we have the box up here here, and you can see even with my minimum set to zero and my maximum set to over 300, you can see that the transition between thick and thin is a lot more gentle. Like an example with the hat here, we go from really thick to thin, but then the next connecting line, it doesn't look as jarring. And even if we just randomize this in different ways, you can see that it of course randomizes the line thickness, like right here and right here, but again, less jarring. So if you're interested at all in this feature or have used it in the past, you can look forward to knowing that it has now been enhanced. If you'd like more information on Anime Studio, please visit the official Anime Studio website at anime.smithmicro.com. Thanks for watching guys, and we will see you next time.